And in a speech the other night, uh, President Obama said, the surge is over, which ironically, the same thing Anthony Weiner said to his wife, the surge <laughs> is over. Now, as far as the Republicans in Washington, you know the budget talks they're having about the debt ceiling, that uh, if we don't raise, the economy will explode. Okay, yesterday the Republicans walked out of the meetings. They just walked out. Apparently the story was Eric Cantor got mad at John Boehner because he went golfing with Obama and talked about stuff that Cantor wasn't in on. And that's it for this week's episode of Real Housewives of D.C. Now, my favorite uh, presidential candidate who is still in the race uh, as of now, Newt Gingrich, uh, he made a speech. He said Republicans shouldn't be afraid to go into black neighborhoods and tell the people that Obama failed them. <laughs> to which every Republican in the room said, you first. Because I just, I just read uh, that Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is threatening to cut off military aid to Pakistan. Or as one guy put it, it's not the first time she's threatened to cut something off. <laughs> and she'll do it. She will do it. Arnold Schwarzenegger is an Austrian now. Gee, I wonder why he's there. God. Go back he's to what you know. He's up to his old tricks. Uh-uh. Yeah, they showed him today walking down the street in Austria. Here, here, take a look. You see what I'm talking about? Here he is. Look, look. Uh-huh. See something that catches his eye? What's that? Look, it's the maid! It's another maid! It's another maid! Well, here's the, the story that got me excited this week. Ron Paul and Barney Frank got together to introduce legislation in our Congress to legalize marijuana. Think about this. In these hyper-partisan times, this issue was able to unite a flaming liberal from Massachusetts and a crazy Republican right-winger from Texas. Oh, marijuana, is there anything you can't do?